Hello there, everybody. This is Eric LP, and I'm back for some more Persona 4. We come back to where we left on it with this guy getting hit in the ball, but I guess. Paul. Yeah, it does look painful. You should. <laughs> We're such an asshole. I hope he doesn't get hit in the balls again. You can tell it's Japan made cherry blossoms. Hmm. I wonder what life has soon awaits in here. Loading screens. The homeroom teacher here is Moraoka, isn't it? Yeah, it's King Moron, all right. We get to enjoy his long-ass sermons every day for a whole year. Hey, you guys, I heard there's going to be a transfer student from the city in this class. Huh? Really? A guy or a girl? A transfer student from the city? Just like you, huh, Yosuke? They look important. <laughs> huh? You look dead today. Yeah, um, I don't want to talk about it. Yeah, we're not going to talk about what happened with him. What's with him? Nothing. Who knows? Maybe a guy named Yunarakami? <laughs> Shut your traps. I didn't know what thin thing was in this game. I'm Kinshiro Moraoka, your homeroom teacher from today forward. I'm mean, just looking at him. Doesn't he look like Winston Payne from Phoenix Wright? First things first. Just because it's spring doesn't mean you can swoon over each other like love struck baboons. Long as I'm around, you students are going to be pure as the driven snow. Now, I hate wasting my time, but I'd better introduce this transfer student. This sad sack's been thrown from the big city out to the middle of nowhere like yesterday's garbage. And he's just as much of a loser here as he was there. So you girls better not get any ideas about hitting on him. Tell him your name, kid, and make it quick. You call me a loser? A curtain increased. Huh. That's it. You're on my shit list. Effective immediately. Now listen up. This town is miles away from your big city of perverts and assholes in more ways than one. Yeah, it's more like a small town of perverts and assholes. <laughs> You'd better not even think of getting involved with the girls here, let alone abusing them. But what do I know? It's not like the old days. Even here, kids grow up so damn fast. Every time I turn my back, you're fooling around on those damn phones, checking your life journals and your my places. Just note this game was made in 2008. No. And it takes place in 2011, so... Yeah, I know that... That the my place is like my space, but I have no idea what the life journal says. Uh, excuse me, is it okay if the transfer student sits here? Huh? Yeah, sure. You hear that? Your seat's over. So hurry up and sit down already. Fine. I'll I'll do just that. He's the worst, huh? Rotten luck for you to get stuck in this class. Well, we'll just have to hang in there for a year. Sucks to be the transfer student, ending up in King Moron's class on the first morning here. Yeah, he won't think twice about suspending you if you get on his bad side. That, that isn't more like whiny than worrying. 
then again, we're all in the same boat. Shut your traps! I'm taking roll, and I damn well expect you to respond in an orderly manner. We might be able to fit in here. That's all for today. Normal lectures will start tomorrow. Ah. Uh. Attention all teachers. Please report immediately to the faculty office for a brief staff meeting. All students must return to their classrooms and are not to leave the school until further notice. Ugh. You heard the announcement. Don't go anywhere until you hear otherwise. I wonder what happened. He's seriously getting on my nerves. Did something happen? Don't those sirens sound really close? Ah, I can't see a damn thing. Freaking fog. Yeah, like every time it rains lately, it gets all foggy. Hey, did you hear? I hear that paparazzi's looking all over for that announcer. Oh yeah, you mean Mayumi Yamano, right? I heard some guy spotted her at the shopping district. Actually, I heard that. Are you serious? H hey, Yukiko-san. Mind if I ask you something? Is it true that announcer staying at your family's inn? I can't discuss such things. Yeah, I guess not. <sighs> Sheesh, how much longer is this gonna take? Can we get, like, the introduction for these people already? <laughs> There's no telling. <sighs> I should have left before the announcement came on. By the way, did you try what I told you the other day? Not gonna make an obvious joke here, not gonna make an obvious joke. You know, that thing about rainy nights. <laughs> There's probably an obvious joke in here somewhere, but I'm not gonna make it. That probably is pretty accurate. Attention, all students. There has been an incident inside the school district. Police officers have been dispatched around the school zone. Please stay calm and contact your parents or guardians as soon as possible and quickly leave the school grounds. Do not disturb the police officers. Head directly home. I repeat, an accident? Did somebody, like, die? Incident? What, something actually happened? Let's go take a look. Something died and you're excited? <laughs> the bitch. Hey, are you going home by yourself? Yeah. Why don't you come with us? Can you tell me your name first? Oh, nearly forgot. I'm Chie Satonaka. You know I sit next to you, right? Of course. Well, nice to meet you. This is Yukiko Amagi. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm sorry that this is so sudden. Come on, don't apologize like that. It makes me look like I've got no upbringing. I just wanted to ask some stuff. Really, that's all. Oh, hey, it's that guy. Uh, uh, Miss Satanaka. This was really awesome. Like... The way they move is just amazing to see. <laughs> <laughs> that sounds so wrong if you say about with your mind in the gutter. <laughs> and I'm really 
really sorry. It was an accident. Please just have mercy until my next paycheck. What is he talking about? See ya. Thanks. Stop right there. What did you do to my DVD? <laughs> what the? Uh, I can't believe this. It is completely cracked. I like think he. I think he should be more worried. My trial of the dragon. What is that like porn? <laughs> I'm very worried about this guy right here. <laughs> he got hit in the balls not once but twice today. That's something to be worried about. Uh, are you alright? I don't think he's alright. Oh, you could go son. Are you worried about me? He's fine, Yukiko. Let's ditch him and go home. He's not fine. <laughs> He looks like him. Yeah, he is. <laughs> We're so much of an asshole. Well, Yuki, right? You want to go hang out somewhere? Um, that guy has like fish eyes. Um, at pretty creepy what who, who are you what's up with him what school never mind that he's going for yukiko san man you'd think he'd at least wait until she's alone to make his move i bet you a can of taffy gets knocked out no bet haven't you heard how difficult the amagi challenge is Uh, so, uh, are you coming or not? I, I'm not going. Fine! That guy is really creepy. I hope we don't see him again. What, what did he want from me? What did he want? Obviously, he was asking you out on a date. I'm guessing Yukiko isn't that bright. Huh? Really? Yep, I'm right. You really have no clue? Sheesh. But then again, that was way over the top. And it was creepy how he called you Yuki all of a sudden. Yo, Yukiko-san. Turned down another lovelorn fool, huh? Man, you're cruel. You got me the same way last year. I don't recall doing that. Are you serious? So then you want to hang out sometime? I'd rather not. <laughs> That'll teach me to get my hopes up. Anyways, you two better not pick on the transfer student too much. We're just curious is all. I can make a very obvious joke here again, but I'm not going to make that obvious joke. Um, I'm sorry for dragging you into this. Maybe we should go. People are staring. Come on. Exactly. Oh, so you came here because of your parents' job? I thought it was something way more serious. No, they both died. He's secretly Batman. There really is nothing here, huh? Well, that is what makes it nice, but there's nothing much we can show to people from outside. Oh, though there is something from Mount Yasagami. I, I think our dyed clothes or uh, pottery or something is kind of famous. Oh, wait, there's the Amagi Inn. Yukiko's family runs it. It's the pride of Inaba. Last time I checked, it was Inaba. Huh? It's just an old inn. Oh, no way. It's 
It's been in all sort of magazines as a hidden treasure. It's a great inn. It's been going for generations, and Yukiko here is going to take over someday. Hopefully her cooking isn't that bad. The inn actually attracts a lot of visitors to Inaba. It pretty much keeps this town going. I don't think that's entirely true. So tell me, you think Yukiko's cute, huh? Um... Yeah. <laughs> I knew it. Come on, don't start this again. She's really popular at school, but she's never had a boyfriend. Kind of weird, huh? You're in her chances. Come on, stop it. You shouldn't believe that, okay? It's not true that I'm popular or that I've never had a boyfriend. Wait, no, no. What I meant to say was I, I don't need a boyfriend. Stop being such a spaz. Jeez, GA. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. But this is our chance to talk to somebody from the big city and you barely said a word. Hey, what's that? Oh no, the piano music. <laughs> That's never good. So that high schooler left school early and as she came down this street... Wow, who could imagine that hanging from an antenna? I wanted to see it too. I wonder what they're talking about. Oh, you got here too late. The police and fire department took it down just a moment ago. Well, I think it's terrifying. I can't believe a dead body showed up around here. What, 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 hey, just the fact that somebody died? What did she just say? A dead body? Hey, what are you doing here? Um, we're just passing by. Huh, I should have figured that had happened. That damn principal. We told him not to let them through here. You know this guy? I'm Detective Dojima, his guardian. Uh, well, how should I say this? I hope you get along with me. But you three really ought to stop wandering around and head straight home. <laughs> Adachi, how long are you going to act like a rookie? You want to be sent back to the central office? Sorry. <clears throat> I may be wrong. No, I'm actually not wrong. I think this guy and like our main character are voice back, voice acted by the same person. But since our main character is silent, um, the person had to voice act him as well. And I think the voice actor is Jung Young Bosch. <sighs> go wash your face. We're gonna go around and gather information. Was this what that announcement was about? What do they mean it was hanging from the antenna? The body was hanging from an antenna. Hey, Yukiko, why don't we go to Juness some other time? We were going to go to a... a Japanese Walmart. Good idea. <laughs> Alright then, we're taking off. Starting tomorrow, neighbor. Let's do our best. The two of them left. He died. They went straight home. I wonder if Dad's not coming home again tonight. Top story this evening concerns a bizarre case in a quiet suburb. Around noon today, a woman was found dead near the Samegawa River in Inaba. The 
deceased has been identified as Miss Mayumi Yamano, a 27-year-old announcer at the local television station. Well, I guess we'll turn towards that she died, because, like, they said she was gone missing and they found body. I don't know. Some people can put that together by just that. The initial results of the Inaba Police Department's investigation have revealed... <laughs> the, the, the Inaba Police Department! That's where Dad works! Can nobody in this game pronounce Inaba correctly? <laughs> It'll be alright. I know. That's his job, so this stuff happens. The body was found hanging from a large television antenna atop a local resident's roof. Authorities are uncertain as to why the body was in such a state. With the cause of death also uncertain, Police continue to investigate whether the death is an accident or a homicide. <laughs> yeah, like, accidentally hitting your body against the antenna on your roof, it's definitely an accident. Yeah, like a uh, dead body on the floor is not scary at all. Oh, it's Juness. At Juness, every day is customer appreciation day. Come see for yourself and get in touch with our products. It's just a Japanese Walmart. Every day is great at your Juness. With a horrible theme. Don't sing. Uh, do you like that song? Yep, it's popular at school too. No. <sighs> Let's well, check the fridge. That's fried rice. Get some more ellipses. Huh. More leftover rice. Anyway, let's go safe. And we're, what time are we? <laughs> Great, now I gotta go back to see what, what time we're at. Well. By what time at? Like game time, not recording time. Because we're at like 23 minutes right now. 47 minutes. Yeah, let's start in our room. And it's uh, and it's Wednesday. Um, I can be an asshole and wait a few minutes, um, just to leave a roll in the trash can, or I can be a bigger asshole and end this episode off here, or I can be a nice guy and continue talking to him. I'll just be the nice guy. <laughs> Make sure to help him. Maybe. <laughs> you saved me. Thanks. Um, oh yeah, that's right. That transfer student. Say my name. Are you gonna say it? Please say the name. It's not that hard to say. Fine. I'm Yosuke Hanamura. Nice to meet you. Is your bike okay? My bike? What about me? <laughs> I love being a hassle when it's so, okay. Did you hear about the incident from yesterday? That announcer lady hanging from an antenna. I think it was some kind of warning. There's no way something that weird could have been an accident. You might be right. Dangling a dead body over a roof like that? That's just messed up. Then again, it's pretty messed up to kill someone in the first place. You're right, Yusuke. Oh crap, 
We're late. You want a ride? It's a little squeaky, but it should be fine. <laughs> that sounds so wrong. Think about that. Be quiet, you idiots. You, you guys are in high school, aren't you? Can you shut up during class? Don't you have any common sense? First of all, my job is to waste my precious time teaching you assholes philosophy. And since I'm so nice, I'll straighten up your rotten attitudes while I'm at it. Aren't you honored? And I'll be going especially hard on any of you morons that are curious about the murders. Got it? Now get your books out. You listen to the lecture intensely. Our knowledge has increased. Okay. So, you getting used to this place? Yeah. Wow, that was fast. There isn't much to do here compared to the big city. But there is that certain something you can't get anywhere else. Mm, the what's that? Clean, the food's great. Oh, you know about the local delicacy? What is it? It's grilled steak, man. Like that's anything special, huh? Oh, you're getting my hopes up. I know a place where you can get it cheap. Wanna come? What about me, huh? No apologies? <laughs> My trial of the dragon. Oh yeah, you're porn. <laughs> you always come around when I'm talking about food. How about it, Yukiko? Don't you think he should treat us too? I'll pass. I don't want to gain any more weight. I need to help out at the end today anyway. <laughs> you're so skinny. How? Me is confused. Don't care about grammar. Wow, Yukiko-san. You started training to take over the business? It's not like that. I'm just helping out when it gets busy. Well, I should be on my way. Oh well, we should get going too. Huh? Do I seriously have to treat two people? That's more, that's more like... Uh, that's more than one! I still like this theme. This is the cheap place you were talking about? They don't have grilled steak here. If if you mean Philly cheese steak, I, I'm gonna kill you, Yosuke. Yeah, well, once you hopped on the freeloader train, I had to change my plans. Still, that's no reason to take us to your place. Huh? Dude, this isn't my place or anything. Oh right. I haven't told you yet, huh? I moved here from another city about six months back. This location just opened up and my dad was assigned to manage it. I do, so you get like discounts here. So our entire family came out here. Here, this is to welcome you to town. So it went from... Sadonaka, yours is on me too. We went from um, a grill, grill steak and possibly a drink to just a drink. Why do you have to ruin it, Chie? <laughs> the, the conversation became animated over small talk. It's only been half a year since this place opened up, but I haven't been to the local shopping district much since. A lot of stores there started closing, and... Oh, um... You can't blame it all on Juness, can you? <sighs> it's a Walmart, so you can. Ellipses. 
actually since we had like the 30 minute mark now, I think I'm gonna end this episode off here. This has been Heroic LPs, playing Persona 4. See you guys in the next episode.